Hi everybody and welcome back to Hex Token Channel. Hope you guys are having an awesome time. I've got a tremendous video for you today. Uh, definitely share it. We've got a Pulse Chain update. We've got obviously daily Hex update and we've got a little bit more than that. So check this out. It's going to be pretty cool. The Pulse Chain update from the dev as well. Lead dev, uh, Bretep, and you guys are going to love that. That's towards the end of the video. We'll have timestamps as, as always. And of course, uh, you can check out uh, Pulse Chain uh, ecosystem video i'll leave that in the video description as well as uh, the best time for gas prices as well i'll leave that link there as well check those two out but let's get straight into it you know how i roll uh, hex.com this stuff has just come out fresh hold off the press hex.com let's go and of course here we are day 703 uh, 4th of november and 2021 and we got a time snap of 20 cents and 20.5 cents uh, down 7.8 percent uh, so still going there we're just slightly below broke that six days of around 22 cents and we even uh, touched uh, down to the support line in my price chart so i'll leave that in the video too uh, video description so three videos there folks you can check it out and uh, that's where we're at the moment so we'll be doing a update video in about three hours time which is the weekly price update video make sure you check out that too when it comes out it's going to be dropping pretty awesomely or is it hotly i don't know one of those two all right let's keep going folks uh return on investment multiplier for all time line low 3645x from the 5th of january 2020 and of course payout per t-share 5.882 that's good that's above average first above average day for some time uh yeah all the way back to uh say day six day 696 six. as the last 10 days we can see here t-share price three thousand nine fifty eight dollars even better day uh, to pick up t-shares if you're wanting to pick up uh, some t-shares and of course a longer pays better stakes give you more t-shares as well your t-share rate 19,232 and up 13.1 nice now this brings us to uh the hex whale bots got a special tweet and of course here it is um uh, hex t-share price guy parabola starting meaning that it's really going to start curving upwards and of course we see the t-share price all the way since back big payday here back on the 9th of november uh 2020 and of course we can see it does little step changes little step changes and it moves up and gets more expensive to get a t-shirt uh, for a day stake as it were and or two day stake whatever you want to call it and of course it keeps going straight up there's a straight line and of course now we actually see a different pattern instead of a step change and then slow it down uh as it rises we and, and the gradient we actually see a, a, a move up here curve up here so a uh, nice observation there uh as well uh, so what this is this the beginning of parabola this is a look at the long-term chart if you haven't seen this, this is a gold mine of course this is the days at the bottom of hex we're currently in day 704 we just started it and of course so that puts us somewhere around here i guess uh in here and of course we've got thousand days there we've also got price changes over 10 years uh you've got four four thousand days there as well and of course uh we've got the uh, price changes of the uh, share share price so uh looks like uh, are we in here starting to curve up and you can see how it ramps right up it's going to get so much expensive uh, to get a t-shirt just uh, uh with you're going to need more hex and more economic energy obviously a bigger ecosystem as well so uh awesome insight there i thought it was cool let's jump back all right so uh there we are 13.1 is a good day we see we've had some good days already for them uh, already this in the last 10 days so really interesting average state length 5.78 up slightly from the last four days nice um we want longer is better longer state length is better average uh, percentage yield rate interest and early end state penalties is 37.69 so a good day in the office there and uh, liquidity 141.6 uh, million uh, hex so uh, obviously with the price going lower uh, there's more hex in the pool uh, usd is down to 27.2 from 28 28.8 and of course eth is actually down at 785 so interesting stuff going on there uh, total amount locked 12.93 billion market cap is 117.88 billion uh, down about 10 billion from yesterday with the price drop there a uh, t-share market cap 43.63 down with the price and a t-share is down slightly 11 million and 23,781 uh, there's 1,825 in those so pretty interesting stuff and of course this look at total supply 635.7 billion up 17.2 has been minted uh, so it's actually added to added to supply circulating supply 572.8 uh, billion and of course most of that's in the origin wallet as i always say and uh, change in circulating supply 34.8 uh, million hex so uh you know decent day i guess and uh stake supply 62.8 
$1.5 billion, down 17.6. So another decent day there. And, of course, we got penalties as well, haven't we? We have got a lot of stakes coming out, mature, and we always look at that. We're going to check that chart out soon. Uh, we'll jump past the GA numbers. Uh, stake percentage of coins, 8.9.88%, and uh, holding a pretty strong down slightly, though, from the previous couple of days there. Uh, actually, the lowest in the last 10 days, 9.88. Uh, it reflects, uh, obviously, unstaking and penalty stuff. Payout next, 64 million 800 to stakers. Nice. Penalties, a big day. Woohoo! Biggest day in the last 10 days, 3.3 million. We'll take that. Thank you very much. Stakers love the penalties. And, of course, the more T-shares, you're going to get more of that as well. All right, so to total, total holders, 378,360, uh, up 324. Nice, actually. And, of course, uh, cheaper price. Hopefully, people take the opportunity up as well. Current stakers, uh, 69,798, up 24. That's pretty low. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, so it might be low, but as long as the, value, the volume is much better, that's uh, important. That's right. So uh, total stakers, 86,467, up 118. And uh, current holders, 264,951,163. So that's today's results. Let's go and check out uh, at the moment. Where are we going here? Where are we going? Uh, no, we've done that one. So let's uh, jump out of there. Let's go to Nomics and check out the market price at Mo Global market cap, 2.91 trillion. Uh, Bitcoin at 61,236, holding up there. And Ethereum still looking good at four and a half. Uh, EHEX is currently at 20.38 uh, cents. Now, once again, I'm going to do a full uh, price video, my weekly update on the old price prediction video. Uh, so check that out as well. I'll leave the previous one on the video in the link. Current market cap is uh, 116 billion and 26 million in volume. Nice, nice, nice. All right, so let's go to the hex charts, and uh, we can see that uh, we've still got about 50% in the version 3 USD and about 37% in the uh, version 2 USD. Uh, we've got, oh, look at that nice update there with the T shares currently 3,931, so that's uh, uh, really is quite a good price to get in to get more T shares. We've got the price coming down here. I'm not going to talk too much about the price because I'm doing a full price video. Check that out in a couple of hours' time. And uh, adoption still up to the right, slowed down a little bit at the moment, uh, but you know, it's uh, once hex price starts ramping up, the all those numbers start charging back because there's so many people out there so uh, promoting hex, talking about hex, uh, the good, the bad, and uh, the coolness, you know, pretty much it. Uh, share price up and to the right. We always talk about that being the curve uh, back here on this. That's uh, we down here somewhere. Uh, we're starting to get that parabol parabolic rise, and that's a pretty fascinating one there. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, and of course, our payout, nice payout uh, with the penalties uh, today. Three and a, it was just over three and a half million or something like that. All right, let's check out the three month. I've got the four monthly uh, stake candles coming out. This is the global stakes. So it's everybody's stakes coming out. So we get to see where the big candles are. We've got a big one on the 6th. Well, we're currently on the 5th now. Yeah, so the 6th. So maybe in a day's time. Uh, I'm ahead of the time, of course, in, in good old New Zealand. Uh, so uh, 524 million hex. A lot of that short term. And we'll see how much of that stakes long term. People got to chase down the T-shares on a 15-year chart. There's only four months, of course. You can see four months. And we've got this uh, next one, a smaller candle uh, coming out there, 359 million. And uh, this is in November 21st is 370. And then, of course, uh, we've got, uh, let me just take off the old banner there. And uh, so you can see the, the timeline there. And then, of course, uh, we've got the 17th of December. Uh, you can see 667. That's the next. Uh, and then back on the 2nd of December, uh, we've got 554. So we've still got a couple of hurdles to get through. Uh, hopefully, five, these will just uh, keep rolling. And some of them will even stake longer, which to get the T-shares. So we have seen a bit of a mix, mix of that. So hopefully, that's going to continue. All right. Very nice. And uh, let's get on to the whale bot. And, of course, we haven't got much here happening in the last... Uh, we wild 23 hours ago. We've got uh, nothing happening there. Let's keep going. Oh, we so this is uh, sell pressure, of course. Three million hex sold 14 hours ago, uh, 664,000 US dollars. So still getting people doing that. Mind you, we've got these candles right. So uh, in, we so we just don't know how many of these are going to be uh, selling down. Some of them are like the two year st two year stakes and one year stakes uh, from hex OGs. Uh, yeah, we've got uh, here's here typical one 14 million dollars worth stake for 35 days so this is the shorter term stuff uh as well so we're getting a mixed bag here uh 20 million hex matured after 170 days that's sort of the, that uh what's that six months or something like that so you get that too uh two million here stake for 423 days nice 643 t-shirts they know what they're doing right picking up t-shirts at least and that was it so a uh, bit of a mixed bag there uh, let's jump over to Ethereum. We don't, don't normally cover this, but of course, uh, the Ethereum is causing you know a lot of high prices for unstaking 
uh, staking, good accounting, and all the rest of it. So uh, we'll take it on the ETH chain. Uh, so uh, here we are, folks. We The best kind of prices we're getting lately, around about the uh, low 80s, and that was yesterday, actually. We had a few other drops there. Uh, so definitely trying to time this is, is the key. Check out the, the gas price, best time to get gas prices video. I'll leave that in the video description. As I say, there's probably going to be three or four videos in the video description you can check out. Now, let's get up to it. Let's get ready to rumble for the Pulse Chain updates. Coming quick, 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 quick. I think I've got the right place here. Here we are. So here we are, PulseChain.com. This is the update. We've already talked about this. This was on the 3rd of November from Richard Hart himself. Planning to launch a testnet release two uh, this week or next with the following updates: improve validator rotation. So obviously uh, that's to make sure that's up and running uh, very well. Now they fixed the uh, issues that were in a previous version, version one. Uh, they also backdated all the updates from uh, the last 18 months because Binance Smart Chain never did that. So uh, they've actually uh, made sure all the best features of all the upgrades on Ethereum uh, on, on the go. Uh, Ethereum Go have been updated into the Pulse Chain, so that's beautiful. All the best features, all the best benefits uh, coming with us, As and Binance Smart Chain never had that when they launched, so they were 18 months behind. So that bodes very well for a robust Pulse Chain, um, uh, 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 Pulse Chain network, so very cool on that, and of course staking. Validator rotation staking, so nice. Uh, branded bl block scout, uh, block explorer, cool. And of course, the, this one here, initial distributions, whatever you see, is totally not real, just testing. Now, obviously, this is actually going to be actual data, but not, it's going to be kind of preliminary or provisional, but it's actual data, but it's going to be, um, it's not going to be final data. So just treat it for what it is, and uh, it's not the final results that I'll obviously go through and do uh, mathematical checking and make sure that the numbers are all correct. So that's from the uh, dev interview that was just held. Uh, so this is hot off the press stuff, uh, only a couple of hours ago, so to speak. And of course, this was from Britep, uh, the lead developer for Pulse Chain did an interview. And of course, our long, I'll leave the link to that video in the video description, and uh, you can check that out. Um, so, uh, what a couple of things that, that that they said. Let me just, uh, uh, yeah, there's a couple of things that they said about this. Let's see what they've said. So, Pretip said uh, in the hour-long interview, is he was so super surprised that they had 395 nodes. Uh, so, people are supporting the system uh, that it was unbelievable, and said that Ethereum didn't have anything like that, and that was fantastic. Uh, and these are people, these are nodes that are actually linked to the Pulse Chain test nets. Uh, network so uh, and he th thinks that there are others trying to sync as well so tremendous result in terms of support he was super excited about the the test net and where it's at and said that he's he's uh, he, he basically said it basically launched already um, but obviously they've got to do these test net things but he said he was super stoked about that and of course uh, uh, the call is Richard Hartz of course he's got a call uh, make the call when they launch and so that was but at least the blockchain has looked like it's humming and this t second uh, test net which is due out this week or next week uh, should really uh, bold us well so if the, the, the lead dev is, is, is pumped, uh, very excited, and of course, uh, this test net's coming out that bodes well for an earlier launch than a later launch. A lot of people talking about, you know, there's quite a few people saying December, like I do, uh, and of course, there's a lot of people uh, saying January, February, and some people even as far out as March. Um, but uh, this is looking actually quite good, I think, based on the devs. He was so upbeat, uh, and uh, that he thought that was so robust that they, you know, pretty could probably set us have already launched or something in the, in the, in the basic sense. So uh, that's pretty exciting, I think. So uh, anyway, they're running through the plan. I like this, uh, just a step by step. They'll be cool. But this is uh, emboldening me to think that, you know, December is still a very good date um, as an expectation. Obviously, it can be wrong. And so Richard makes the call. Uh, so just take that into account. But that uh, does certainly embolden uh, that December prediction. Uh, and of course, uh, I've got further to say about that, so we're going to talk about that soon. So uh, what else we got here? We've got um, uh, we've got uh, uh, the the validator staking is going to be getting in play as well, so that's nice. And uh, they're going to probably at least get up to thirty three validators when they actually launch. Um, they could have a very minimum of running at five. So. Uh, uh, you know, to keep the system going when you're validating blocks on a blockchain and stuff like that. Uh, and the the back end's going pretty well. Um, so they're looking good there. Now, the minimum viable. So check out the Pulse Chain ecosystem video that's got the minimum viable being the front end, uh, meaning the Pulse Chain website, the Hex, Hex uh, uh, website, 
uh, and of course uh, the pulse chain itself. So those those all look look good and easy. Uh, the hex site itself is a pretty easy uh, to get that up and running interface. And so the minimum viable was those those things, uh, and the um, and the Uniswap. Uh, and that's that's been done by different devs, uh, but that seems to be tracking along. So we look forward to seeing that. And then, of course, the final thing was the bridge, a uh, ETH bridge. Now that's the only thing that's in question. And Rich has been talking recently about that, uh, that maybe that's not in the minimum viable uh, MPV. So those four items are really what's required. Um, and so, you know, the front end, the pulse chain, uh, the Uniswap, and the and the uh, bridge. Uh, so uh, they're saying, well, we could even run run the MVP and basically launch without the bridge uh, as a possibility, but uh, obviously that's probably being worked on too. Um, but the market could run that. So that's not official. That's kind of just some of the discussion that the dev had. Um, and we wait for Richard, who's coordinating all these different devs and teams uh, to come out uh, with that time. So pretty exciting stuff there. Um, and so yeah so the chain's looking fantastic the nodes are really supported everything's humming uh this second uh testnet 2.0 is coming out that looks really strong and of course uh what else we got here uh they've backdated the pulse testnet to have all the the best updates from from uh, the ethereum upgrades uh compared to binance smart chain that was pretty the highlight there and a uh, bridge is in question so we've got question mark on that but uh, it could launch with or without that of course uh, sometimes the market makes their own bridges as well you know for your gateways on ramps off ramps um, bridges to other chains ethereum of course uh, so we'll watch the space on that topic uh, but once again richard's coordinating his dev teams uh, and uh, we'll see when he launches so uh, it looks like to me sooner than later i think so very very nice as well uh so i hope you guys enjoyed that quick update i think there were one or two small updates on there um but uh this is looking exciting uh so hopefully that was uh, really cool let's jump over to of course uh the big party coming up the celebrate two years of hex and style uh hex the gatheringcom now it looks like uh um that second party man could richard actually launch then or at least indicate this the, the launch time from then a very reasonable possibility since the the test net is currently on uh, at the moment um, so i think that's uh, uh you know so if it's the next week or two uh, let's say it runs through the uh the third week of november or something like that maybe even to the end of november that could set them very well up for a, a mid december late uh, december launch and a uh, big announcement on um on the celebrate two years of hex style in london what a perfect time to do that plus of course uh, the documentaries on as well so i think that's fantastic so this is i'm pretty upbeat as you can tell uh i'm probably more optimistic about the december date than i was especially after hearing the dev i will link leave the link to the video description so you can watch the full video yourself it's quite long and the audio is not necessarily the best uh so you have to be patient going through that uh but i think that's pretty cool well, was the longest video i've done for a daily update but man pulse chain update uh with the dev how who, who could resist and of course, uh, the, the daily update there. Also, good prices to get more T-shares. Uh, it's exciting. And I'll do a full price video for the weekly update uh, in a couple of hours' time. So I hope you look forward to that as well. Feel free to subscribe, like, and share. Hit the bell, of course. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye for now.